first we should know what is the innervation of the sacroiliac joint. So sacroiliac joint is innervated both by, both by the dorsal rami branches as well as the ventral rami branches. Ventral rami branches comes from anteriorly, anterior part of the SI joint, and 20% uh, of the nerve supply, approximately 20% are from the ventral rami branches, which can never be accessed. Dorsal rami branches are almost 80%, and most of them comes from the S1, S2, S1, S2, and S3 foramens. And apart from that, the few branches comes from the L5, which is resting over here, over the, um, the ala of the sacrum, and sometimes branches can come from the S4 as well. But mostly the innervations are the lateral branches, they are the lateral branches, and which forms a network with the, the lateral sacral crest, this is a lateral sacral crest, and where the network is there. And from that network, the medial part of the sacroiliac joint, it is getting innervated from this network. So when you are planning to denervate the sacroiliac joint, we cannot access the ventral rami branches, which already I told you. So dorsal rami branches, what we can do is this S1, S2, and S3 foramen. We start placing the needle from the upper part of the S1 foramen on the lateral side, the space between the sacral foramina and the iliac crest. So let me start annotation. So these are the foramens. So these foramens, the lateral part of the foramen, and the iliac crest, this space between these two, we have to find it out and you have to place the needle. The first needle will be along the line of the upper part of the S1 foramen and the lowest needle should be the lower part of the S1 foramen. This additional needle placement is your optional. So you have to place the needle at around one centimeter distance and normally five to seven needles need to be placed. These are all for the lateral branches which comes from the lateral part of the sacral foramen. Apart from that, we need to place another needle at the junction of the ala of the sacrum and the superior articular process at this to ablate the medial branch of the L5. L5 medial branch of dorsal rami comes like this and branches from come there to join this network. So this network of the nerves is there over the, uh, the lateral sacral crest from where the nerves goes to supply the sacroiliac joint. So with this basic anatomy, let me start the video. So this is videos has been fast forwarded and that is the reason why this is this movement. This movement is not uh, any anything. This is because respiratory movement, but because I have fast forwarded it, it is looking like a you know convulsive movement. So these are not convulsive movement. So first we are doing on the left side. So this is the area. These are the sacral foramens. So these are the sacral foraminas. So our needle, and this is the iliac crest. So this space between this and this, we need to place needles from here to here till the upper part of the SI joint to the lower part, lateral side of the S1, S2, S3 foramen. So these needles are placed. Here we have placed the, uh, the six needles and uh, we'll be doing the uh, stimulation. We'll be first seeing with the lateral view. Lateral view, it will be like this. And uh, in the lateral view, your needle should not cross the posterior sacral plate. So you should not cross that plate. And uh, not into the sacral foramen, sacral, uh, you know, the canal. And uh, we have to check by the lateral view and uh, also by the AP view. It, the needle should be almost parallel. Some needle and the distance uh, between these two needle should be approximately one centimeter. So after we are correcting the needle placement and then we are going for the stimulations. And after doing the stimulations, we do a, you know, the lesions, strip lesion continuously one by one. So this patient was having the, the bilateral pain. And uh, after completing it on the one side, we give a little bit of, you know, the steroid injections and then we go to the other side. So this is the local anesthetic before doing the radio frequency ablations. So we are doing the bipolar lesions here. Bipolar lesions having the advantage that you can together go with the two lesions together and uh, you can have a larger lesion, larger strip lesions. So sacroiliac joint, uh, 
uh, either the bipolar radio frequency or the cool radio frequency. Cool radio frequency can also create a large size lesion. These are the two recommended lesions, recommended procedures uh, to have a large size lesion. So first we did on the, the left side. And then after completing, we did on the right side. So almost similar procedures. So CM placement will be contralateral oblique to, to create the space between the lateral sacral uh, part of sacral foramina and the iliac crest that can be increased if you are making a contralateral oblique. So we made the contralateral oblique and did it. After completion of the procedures, we did injected the steroid and we take it out and then we put the needle on the right side in the same fashion. And after completing that, we are giving the little bit of steroid injections. The same way, in this side, we have placed the five needles. And needle should be parallel. It should be checked both by the AP and the lateral view. And the needle should be placed between the sectoral foramina and this. And then we are going for the, this is for the, L5 medial branch. So this is the ala of the sacrum and the, this junction. And here, the CM should be your caudally tilted. From the caudal side, we should be taking the needle in the tunnel fission. The CM should be caudally tilted up around 10, 15 degree. And then this area, this is the target area. This is the area where you should go. So the lateral branch of all sectoral nerve roots, S1, S2, S3, and the medial branch of the L5, or the target will be at the junction of the ala of the sacrum and the superior articular process. So this is one side, left side needle was placed. And then we'll be placing the needle here on the right side also, because patient was having the bilateral SI joint pain. We are checking by the lateral view, two sides, both the needles are placed. And then we did the multi-channel listening. Multi-channel listen is you are doing the listen simultaneously at the both the needle. It's a multi-channel listen means two monopolar listen together is your multi-channel listen. So we are doing the two monopolar listens, medial branch on the both the side because the patient was having the bilateral pain. So after that, again, we'll be giving the steroid injections and that completes the procedure.